Well, it's October, long weekend, 2021. We are making a dash for Crystal Brook. I think it gets, uh, I think it's like Southern Flinders Ranges. I think you could probably describe it. to come up here for Drive 19 kilometers. some uh, tennis tournaments back in the, the younger days. I think it must have been Easter, well, Easter long weekends we used to come up here. So it'll be interesting to see how the parks changed. That was a number of years ago. And um, to see what the traffic's like because it's about 1.30 I think on the Friday so we're um, trying to beat the traffic we're going with Ian and Desma Ian did touch base and say that the traffic on Port Wakefield Road along with the roadworks are there is not real flash so we're trying another route we're going to go Gawler and Clare and and back in that way, so we'll see how we go. Check in with you a bit later. So we're out of the uh, out of the city, out of the big smoke. Some nice and green paddocks out here. And yeah, I think we have, I think we have beaten the traffic because there's no one really heading in our direction. A few cars packed up, their camping stuff heading south. No one ahead of us, maybe they're all behind us, I don't know. So we should have a good run, I think. Well, there you go. Three hours drive. And we're just hitting the, uh, the skirts of Crystal Brook now, so. You arrive at your destination after 300 meters. Thank you, Karen. You have reached your destination. Magnificent.
showgrounds. Oh, bit of, uh, oh, emergencies over there. <coughs> too. Interesting. Booking line. Right. Oh, I'm just not go this way. Right, yeah. Let's go and see what's happening. Right, well we've arrived this last night and we've uh, pulled up, this is our spot here, we've got a barking girl, right quiet, right quiet, leave it, leave it, park's quite full. A lot different to how I remember it. Ian and Desmond down there. They're set up. And we're off for a bit of exploring. This is downtown Crystal Brook. We're on the video now. <laughs> Alright, we'll catch you later. Love you too, bye. Pharmacy just here, Joe. <coughs> okay. Just gonna head stop. For Joe to duck into the pharmacy. Oh, oh. oh God, that's good. There you go, that's uh, the main street of Crystal Brook. That's a reasonable, nice little town. Got supermarket, got the cameras, couple of pubs. So we're going to head over to Port Piri now, have a bit of a squizzy over there because I've driven past it a lot of times but haven't all haven't really ever been in there so we're gonna go and have a look at that. We've got the sheep dog trials on here today as well so we might even try and get a squizzy at that. taking the second exit.
take that second exit. Thought we'd uh, come for a walk up to the showgrounds. This is where the sheepdog trials are. Got one sheepdog over here now. Working these sheep. Number two, we are now going to go and have a bit of a look at Bowman Park, I think it's called, and then Crystal Book Valley, Crystal Book Valley, so let's go and do some investigating. Yes, the cockies, the birds are pooping everywhere. Pooping machines. Ready up. While it's green, a bit of rain, I think I heard on the radio 
yesterday the farmers would have liked a little bit more rain but has greened up pretty good don't know what it would be like in summer Welcome to Bowman Park, walking trails, native garden, native <coughs> bee information, site of the original homestead, 1847, facilities for hire. So. Part of the Heisen Trail by the looks as well. We got the free free camping area here, a few vans and a bus pulled in. I think they call this the uh, what is it? Nature. Nature play. So it's a bit of a play area there for the kids so, so looks like some old ruins that they've turned into a bit of a play area for the kids looks like it's uh, an old house here a bit of a cellar down there It's hard to see, but... little area for the kids to mess around in not sure what that is a two-headed something lizard chaotic uh, Looking trees. Good little play area for kids, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Put a lot of work in into it here. Frying pans and all. You can see uh, the one in the back corner with all the windmill spikes. All right, we're going to have a bit of a look at that. Yeah. House up there. The windmills. down have a look this way over a bridge little tree house with a slippery dip I 
Hey, Bill. What do you think, Missy? What do you think, Gil? So that's just down around the corner a bit. That must be like the reception centre. So this is the uh, function centre. Morning. Big 21st on here last night. Right, we've just come on to Valley Road and this apparently will take us to Crystal Book Valley. And we'll go down here and see what we can find, see where we end up. Anyway, interesting little route back into town. So we'll keep going along here and see where we end up. What animals? board there not sure how well that'll turn out but there's the caravan park that we're at Bowman Park where we've just been and looks like the explorers of the time Charles stood up the top, Edward John Eyre, and then John Ainsworth Horrocks. So there you go. It says John Edward Eyre was passing through this region May 90, sorry, May 1839. The sparkling clear water of the stream inspired him to name the town Crystal Brook. It also says the point at which Edward John Eyre crossed the Crystal Brook became the head station of the Bowman Brothers' huge pastoral holding in 1852. And that's all part of Bowman Park, which we were out there earlier. Anyway, I'm going to go and have a look at a subway here that's uh, got some pictures of some people of the era, of the day. The subway art done in 2018 going under the train tracks so, one for the indigenous ladies and a uh, Jesse Clopper worked in the hospital I think Rhonda Rhoda Rhoda Strudwick Some paintings there Edith Wilson Can't pronounce the surname there very sort of uh, Frenchy looking. Kirchner. Forgan. And Robinson. There we go. And then we go up the 
other side. Interesting little walk through under the tracks. Yeah, I think all they need is some silo art now. So we've um, had a little bit of a drive and we've now just popped over to Laura which is only about a couple of clicks away, 20 clicks or so away. Pop over here and see uh, see what's here. Can't say I've probably ever been into this town either. Here we are, Loy Laura, I should say, Laura, the home of Golden North Ice Cream. We haven't seen the factory yet, but quite a nice little town here. It's not a lot of traffic going through, but coffee shops open, the ladies' antiques shops here, and the ladies down there have got their second-hand stuff out trying to sell make some money caravan park down that way information center is open some uh, sort of monument here in the main street of Laura haven't found the factory yet but we'll get there Another statue in the main street. This one is actually CJ Dennis, who lived in Laura, and he was the creator of the sentimental bloke. Must have been a poet or something. So I haven't come very far from the main street. Uh, here you go, Golden North, not much to see, not much to see but there you go, name on the gate. Golden North, there's where she's made. So that was our little drive <laughs> for today. Just heading back from Laura to Crystal Brook now. And it must be time for a beer, I think. What's for tea tonight, Uncle Ian? Steak and vegetables. No sausages? No. <laughs> well, it is the chills and the virus is camping, so why would it be that? Uh, What's that? It's got, I think, measurements on it or something, isn't it? What's going on over here, Bell Bell? You watching? Nice to get the ball thrown. Mm. All right, come back this way. All right, just checking the lights. We are packed up. Toilets emptied. Things are locked. Connections done fine. We are off.
Let's go, boy. Let's go. Say bye, Bill. Bye, Joe.